I'm just making this video to give you some extra help with assignment number four. You're going to have to use a checkbox as part of the assignment, and I'll just show you how to do one in React. It's pretty much the same thing as what we did with the input text box, but this could be something you get stuck on. So I'll just give you some extra help here. So I've just got a Babel set up for React here. So I've got like a regulation all file. I'm including React. I've got the Babel compiler here. And uh, I'll just make an app component, and then I'll render it to the root div there. So we'll make our app component, and we'll just put a checkbox in it just to kind of get started. So we'll just say class app extends react.component. And then we'll say render, and we're going to return. And inside here, I'll put a checkbox type input. So I'll say type checkbox. ID is even, checked is equal to, I'll say false. So when we do this, I get a checkbox here and I've actually hard set it here to false. So I can't actually click on this and, and check it. But if I change this to true and refresh, then it will be checked. And again, I can't actually change this because of the, re the way React works, it's just rendering it and it's rendering it as true no matter what. Um, so we actually can't change that like that anyways. So I'm gonna say label four and I'll say even and I'll just give it a label so that way we know what the checkbox is actually for. I'll say close the label. And then, oops, so I gotta actually spell label right. So then I've got a label for it, so I know what the checkbox is about. But okay, so now what I'd like to be able to do is have this checkbox become a controlled component, just like our input text box before, where we had React managing the state of the input text box. We want to have React managing the state of this checkbox, whether it's true or false. And the way we do it is remarkably similar. So it's 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 almost identical. So what we'll do is we'll have the state of this checkbox kept track of in state. So I'm going to say constructor props and I'll say super props and then I'm going to say this dot state and I'm going to keep track of that state of that checkbox. And I'm going to say even is true. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to set checked to be the state of even, the even state. And so now it'll be checked if I change even to false. Now it's unchecked. And then what I want to do is I just want to set up an on change event just like before, and just change the state of the checkbox based on that event occurring. So I'm just going to say this dot flip even and dot bind to this. And then I'll have a, a function here, flip even, that will flip it to even or flip it on and off basically and true or false, I should say. So this dot set state, and then I would say even. And I want to make it the opposite of whatever it is now. So if it's true, it's false. If it's false, it's true. So I'd say set even to be not whatever the value is now. This dot state dot even. It's just a Boolean kind of flip there. Okay. And that should then flip it. Okay. So refresh here. Oops. What did I do wrong here? Uh, even. This dot state dot even. This dot state dot even. Uh, what did I do wrong here? Flip even. That is correct. Not this dot state dot even. Let's go to inspect to see what's up. This dot set state is not. Oh, I didn't spell this dot set state wrong. Whoops. Okay. You have to spell function names right. All right. So there we go. So now it's it's kind of controlled, and we could actually see like the output from that. So I could say like we could see the value of the state instead of just putting it in the input text box. So I could say like even and if this dot state dot even is true, then let's output true. Otherwise, let's output false. And I'll just sort of output the value so I can see it there. So if I were to just output this, it wouldn't show anything. But what I'm doing is I'm saying this is that quick form way of doing an if else where I'm going to say if this is true, output true here. If it's false, output false here. So now I can see it's true, it's false. It's true, it's false. Okay, and that's really it. And then what I could do is I could do things differently based on the state of that checkbox, right? So if I had, let's say I had a bunch of data being sent to this um, app component here as prop data, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 in an array. 
And let's just say I'm sending that data to the app component in a prop here. If I just want to output this data just to look at it, I could do that. I could just say output, you know, this dot props dot my data, and I get the numbers output there. So this data is being sent to this app component as a prop, and I could access that data here. What I could do is I could do different things with that data based on the status of the checkbox, which we know by checking this dot state dot even. So let's just say, for example, I want to say output a list of the things in that list. So I could say uh, in the things in, of, of the things in that array, I could say here um, this dot props dot my data, and I could say dot map, and I could say output for each thing, the value of it in a list item. Tag here, so list item tag here. Okay, and then I get those 10 numbers output there. And if I wanted to say like do something like only output the even numbers, I could do that. So I could just check the state of even and I could filter the data and then output that data instead, like output the filtered data instead. So I could say like here, I could say like var to show is equal to by default, we're gonna say this dot props dot my data. And then instead of showing here, this dot props dot my data, I'm gonna show to show. So I'm gonna use this instead because I just set it equal to this anyways. So I'm going to say to show. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to potentially manipulate to show. So I'm going to potentially filter it based on the state of the checkbox. So I'm going to say like if uh, this dot state dot even is true, then to show is going to be equal to to show dot filter for x x modulus two is equal to zero. So when x modulus 2 is equal to 0, filter for those elements when the state even is true. So if I do a refresh now, and I set even to true, it does a filter of to show when even is true, like now. There's a filter. We get only the even elements now using this filter. And then here, when we use to show, which has now been modified from the original sort of this dot props on my data, it only shows the even numbers. And if I wanted to show like the number of things, I could say like here, I could say uh, P and I could say like number or like total or something like that. And I could say here, you know, this dot, or I could just say to show dot length. And this would then show like the number of things in the list. So I've got total 10, total 5, total 10, total 5. So anyways, this is an example of doing a checkbox and using the checkbox state to change the way things are going to display. So this should be pretty helpful with assignment 4 as well. I'll just throw this code up as well as this video. All right. Hopefully this was helpful.